Hey, Basher Bears, it's your principal, Marcus Reichel. Just wanted to get a quick check-in with you and take a moment and talk about some virtual expectations while we're learning at home and kind of doing our Basha at home. We're going to do five in five today, meaning we're going to cover five things in five minutes. We've done a little bit of research on our video that we've been sending out and everyone kind of stops watching at five minutes, so we're going to try to get through this um, right at five minutes or a little sooner than five minutes. Keep in mind, this is a real, real, real simple, purposefully simple uh, virtual expectations of what we got going and what we expect from our students and our teachers here at Basha High during our virtual learning. Here we go. First thing we got to do, students will complete their attendance ticket, right? When you log into Google Classroom, pop in there, fill out your attendance ticket. Teachers will, they're going to post the attendance. Just like school, we've been doing school for hundreds of years, we're going to do the very first thing we've always done, and that's take attendance so we know who's there and who's in our classroom. Second thing we're going to do, we're going to do our best as a student. Students will do their best to be in their assigned class period at that time. That's synchronous learning. We want you to be in there at your designated class period time. However, we know there's some obstacles out there, and we know that that's not 100% possible. Um, but we want you to do your best to be in there at the assigned time while the teacher's there to help you, while the teacher's there to explain some things to you, and where the teacher can be live with you at some point during that class period. On the teacher side, teachers will. Teachers are going to be 100% available for you during your given class period. And then at some point during that class period, they're going to be live in there. Some way, shape, or form, they're going to be live at some point during that class period. There's also obstacles that come with that. Both of us have obstacles, students and teachers, that we're going to have to overcome to be able to do this number two. Just like you at home, our teachers here at school and at their home, we're both going to have tech issues. We're both going to have problems logging in sometimes. We're both going to wake up and our computer's not going to work. Those things are going to happen. Those are obstacles that we're going to find a way to just overcome together, okay? So we're going to complete attendance, be in our assigned class time. Teachers are going to be live at some point during that class, 100% available. Next thing, number three, S teachers will provide instruction, assignment, and or activity, etc. Teachers are going to post this and make these things available to you during your, de your designated class period. We want you to engage and complete those assignments and complete that instruction and be participatory, participatory in that instruction with your teachers in an ideal synchronous model. Um, it's not going to be perfect all the time, right? If you look on the sides, it won't be perfect. It won't be perfect on both sides, but we're going to find a way to make that work. So engage in that instruction and complete your assignments. Makes sense, right? Makes sense for, for a student, what do I have to do? I go into class. I'm engaged in class, I complete the assignments that my teachers give me. My teachers are providing that instruction, they're live at some point, and they're giving me an activity or an assignment to work on and complete. Fourth step, fourth step. This virtual learning is a hard new thing. It's a challenge. There's very, there's very many obstacles, there's a lot of obstacles we're gonna have to overcome out there, but we will overcome them. It's not gonna be perfect on either side, students, or teachers. It's going to be a little ugly, a little messy, but that's okay. Please notify your teacher when you're struggling. It could be a simple email. It could be a, maybe a comment in, in your stream for your classroom. Find a way to notify your teacher if you're confused on something or just something doesn't make sense to you or if you need help. Find a way, if you're struggling, to notify your teacher. And do that Monday through Friday seven to three. On the flip side, teachers are going to provide you timely feedback within 24 hours. They should respond to you with how they can help you or ways that they can get you help. Monday through Friday, seven to three. Remember, your teachers, they're a little bit crazy. If you email them like at 11 o'clock at night on a Sunday, they're probably going to wake up and respond to you and try to help you. And that's a good thing. I mean crazy in a good way. A little bit crazy, but crazy in a good way. 
they're going to try to find a way to help you, but it's kind of not fair to them. Get them from Monday, Monday through Friday, 7 to 3, and they'll try to get you help within those 24 hours. And our last piece, our last piece of our five and five, we're talking about five things in five minutes, focusing on our virtual expectations. Students will, teachers will. Students and teachers will find a way to win the day. This is going to be a new thing for all of us. There's going to be obstacles that we face in it all together. But together we can make that happen. It's not going to be perfect on either side. We're going to overcome these obstacles and we're going to find a way to win the day. And as we're finishing this video, hopefully under five minutes, I'm looking at my timer right now, it's close, it's close. As we're finishing this up, you're probably wondering, oh, Mr. Reicho, Mr. Reicho, what, what do you do? What's your job? My job is all of this trying to find a way to support all of us to find a way to win the day and deliver some great virtual um, instruction. Thank you all for your time, and go Bears.